Yeah. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, you could do that one for the sculpture. Yeah. 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 Touch and you know, whatever. Um, we could do it hands and then the sculpture. Hands to so eyes. Whatever, whatever, and then yeah. eyes would be the painting, wouldn't it? You need eyes to see the paintings. To see it, no, I'm not saying you can. Mm-hmm. You can feel the parts of shield as art mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Open hands, open eyes, open mind. Actually, yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Because what do we do? We came in, we all had different mm-hmm. levels of sight. So yeah. open your heart, open your hands, and you know, yeah. instead of yeah. Yeah. Or open, open hands, open, hands, open yeah. eyes, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Open. Well, I think the what you say, painting. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Call that oh, starting you say, off. Money? Starting off. Because it just shows childhood build, uh, up to about five figure, years. Right? Like we have the mosque, we have the hands, we have a guitar that could go <laughs> somewhere around yeah. the place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all connected to yeah. yeah, music, yeah. Um, Even food, there's food as well. The, 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 the feet, whatever. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? Something long. Well, trees that have roots, don't yeah. they? Yeah, feet yeah. So. so the trees could go as free. Yeah. The, the, what do you call it? The not the gramophone. What do you call it? You know, could be an ear. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just the ear, yeah. Yeah. There's a face. So there's a face there. Mhm. Yeah. And then. I'll tell you, there's there's a, well, the something like. The sky's the yeah. limit. There's, a, there's yeah. eggs enough for the belly. For yeah. This, oh yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. We have food, music. Yeah. And the bird on the heart flutters. The yeah. Animals. yeah, we have birds, yeah. animals. We, we, That's right. See, yeah. Like with a lot of earth, we kind of... Okay. Yeah, I think it's coming up with an all-over kind of theme or something. Yeah. To get everything we, in, you know. Yeah, to try and include everyone as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's different. And I suppose the obvious, as I say, would be... The eye, we have to get the, the eye seeing seeing somewhere, eye. don't we? The seeing mm. eye. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's the, the all seeing eye. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, we have some you know, the eye way. can, but then that was used before. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Insight through yeah. art. Yeah. You could call the whole thing insightful, maybe. Yeah. 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 Or or the word, yeah the word what did you say, Tony? Get the, the whole yeah. thing as... as yeah. Again, yeah. I the word. Through the third eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we're bringing you know, mind and, and there is a visual element to all our work. Mm. Yeah, because some yeah. people can't see like yeah. and, so and the, exactly. the insight yeah, because it, it, it means more levels. than you know, the, the insight is not just the visual. Yeah. yeah. It's sort of an understanding in yes. that way. Yeah. Uh, you know, something. My name is Tony White. My piece is called First Steps. At the bottom in the middle, you can see where there's a baby, a little jelly baby and leaves. That's the show that I was born in September. Above that, there's a green area and to the left is the beach and the sea, which depicts Pumarnock where I was brought up. Above that again, you can see a leaf, leaves with a pencil in it. That indicates that I went to baby infants locally uh, in September. That's what the leaves are. And then to the right of that is a wall with the Braille alphabet behind it. That, that indicates when I lost my sight, where I went to boarding school to continue on with education. Um, very therapeutic. And um, How would you describe yours? What is your painting? Um, it's um, like a storm and the wind is brisking in the storm. Yeah. And you have the sun um, coming low okay. in the end, like, so you know that the storm is coming. Yeah. And um, it was all by touch um, um, with your fingers, so that was good. Yeah. And um, it was good to paint, like, a different way, um, a different kind of art of way, like, touching all the stuff which was good. Art through my eyes, maybe. Mm-hmm. That's the way I can see things of... When I look into my back garden now, um, well, we don't live near the sea, so I kind of did exaggerate a little. But um, I'd see colours different, you know, than other people would see them. So, But anyway, yeah, I, and it, I, I liked the art, the idea, because I hadn't 
painted anything in years since I was in school, so okay. just uh, took me back a bit. <laughs> cool. So cool. yeah, it's good. And what what do you have? What what, what oh, do you I use have, here? It's um a, a back garden with the sea and the sky and clothesline, hmm. and there's a, a lovely dog here, and he's trying to eat my clothes. But I'm apart <laughs> from that, and then I have a tree. Cool. As well, a, 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 a big tree there as well. So, yeah, so, and some butterflies. Okay. Um, and what materials do you have? Oh, you? yes, I used uh, different materials for the clothes. There's some um, felt, some sequin seat, <coughs> some velvet. And then I used um, the, uh, what do you call it? Plaster, Plaster, but, yeah. yeah, for the sky and the grass. Cool. And then I just painted them different colours. So. Yeah. Well, um, the first one I would just call nature, really, nature. seen from the uh, sea, but just ex experimenting with different textures as well, shells, and mm -hmm. um, just letting it, it, the colours flow a little bit and just see how it works. And um, I think also use some of the plaster bandage, yeah, and another plastic thing for the sun, and um, so it's just to enjoy uh, yep. colour. Well, um, I'm starting to try to think of the colours of the chakras, really, um, you know, different energy centres, so um, there's seven of them, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, uh, light blue and dark blue and pink at the top, so and then I'm just using those same colours around the paper to, and also just finding out how different, if you mix colours, that they make different shades. So, yeah, basically I'm going to call it the diversant being or diversant one. And it's an ancient pagan symbol representing the eternal cycle of nature. Well, I kind of remember it from when I was a teenager. I used to love the image of him, like just like the wild one, you know, okay. <laughs> so cool with all the hair and like. Anyway, um, so it's basically like the seeming death of nature in the winter, and then the miracle of rebirth in the spring. Oh, so um, in Christianity, is also he became kind of like a symbol of rebirth after death. And he's usually depicted as a, as a man hiding behind green foliage, vines and vegetation, and spewing vegetables and fruit from his mouth. Um, so he, he is a source of inspiration for aspirant and committed artists. And I read somewhere that the sign of his presence is the ability to work or experience with tireless enthusiasm beyond one's normal capabilities. So basically, yeah. like for me, he is uh, a reminder that the dreaded dark evenings won't last forever. <laughs> um, as we approach spring, the days get longer, and I feel I can be active and enjoy being out and about independently again. So he's like the call of the wild, <laughs> the, oh. the desire to be closer to nature and instills a greater awareness of the environment in me. And it's basically plastic plaster, sorry, plaster on canvas with acrylics. Today's been my first day to come and I haven't done artwork in over 30 years. So I'm really enjoying the whole experience. I just um, made or uh, drawn a cow. Mm -hmm. So I love, my dad was a farmer. I lived on a farm when I was a kid. So mm. this brings me back to that. So I did some of the cow with the pepper mash with that, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Yeah, plaster bandage. Plaster bandage, so I don't yeah. even know the words because I'm not That's an artist. Right. Pa plaster band. bandage. Yeah. And then just some grass and, and the pro at the moment I'm trying to make a very unique red chicken. And I'm mixing uh, the paint now um, okay. just to make the feet. Heart full of love. Lovely. I'm loving. Um, my picture is made from a lot of bits and pieces of <laughs> bits and pieces put together. Um, I used beads for a big heart. I wanted to put photographs into the heart or but anyway. Hmm. Um, it's about nature as well, the moon, the stars, sun, yeah. clouds, uh, big, big, bright, whatever that was, moon. I enjoyed it. Um, hearts cool. are very important.